first things first. John Thornton has permission to film at the Academy. And your name is what? Let's just make sure we, you're not an impersonator. David Brigham, President and CEO of the Pennsylvania Academy. All right, there are now we're talking. Now hereby we're... grants permission to John Thornton for a limited time. Unlimited. <laughs> for, for a limited time to film here at the Academy with renewable permission to be granted. I have attended many great schools in my day, and it wasn't just because I got asked to leave some either. But the one I love by far the best is the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. From the time I graduated in 1980, I have tried to return each spring for the annual student exhibition. In my day, this show was known as the Crescent Show named after one of the many endowed prizes the Academy awards each year. The Academy has always had a great faculty, but for me, it was my fellow students who taught me the most. In some ways, the Academy is a very competitive place, but despite that, students are incredibly supportive of one another. And that's just as true today as it was when I was a student 30 years ago. I think that somebody's trying to snake that beautiful girl away from you, look. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going with this guy. It's cool, I've known him for 17 years. <laughs> Is he a good artist? Really good. When you are a student, winning or losing these prizes seems like such a big deal. But after you are out, you realize that the real gift you have received from the Academy had nothing to do with money or trips to Europe. What we get is a pathway to a creative life. Spread out now, rosy doctor, come cut loose her mama's reins. You know, plain blind man's bluff, it's a little baby's game. You pick up little dynamite, I'm gonna pick up little gun. Together we're gonna go out tonight and make that highway run. legendary Faith Ringgold, that correct? Well, I think maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the Academy just gave you an award? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. But you had had a few of those before, apparently? Yeah, 21. But the 22nd one's the best, right? I think you're right. <laughs> what do you think of the show? It's very encouraging to see that so many young artists are pursuing their art in a traditional manner and not just painting from photographs. This is refreshing to see the experimental ways in which the students are using different kinds of media to create images. It's a lot different than the way it's going to end up. It's just the start. What kind of advice would you give them? Keep working because you don't know where it's going until it goes. First video that I did. First one. Yeah, mostly I'm doing sculpture or painting, but I'm a sculptor major at school. Normally we would go with the beautiful girl, but no, we're switching to the artist because of his <laughs> immense talent. So I'm talented too. All of them are oil paintings. Oh, what's your name, by the way? Dan Jacob. Have you ever painted her? No. <laughs> I would go home tonight and get started. <laughs> Caitlin, I remember you from last year. Oh, yeah? How are you doing? You just graduated? Good. Yeah, I did. Where, where's your stuff? Um, my stuff's in the front hall. I have to see it. It was yeah. so great last year. Are you doing similar stuff? Or? Yeah, it's sort of similar. I, I did a wall this year and each individual piece instead of an installation. Did you 
ever see my movie with you in it? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was awesome. Oh, well, thank you. It. Well, yeah. not as awesome as your work. I'm, oh, I'm definitely going to go see that. Oh I, yeah. I will document you this year as well. Okay, all right. Thank I, you. I just loved your stuff last really? year. Thank oh you. yeah. Thank you. That means a lot to me. My name is Lane Davis. I have one more year here. Focus an entire year on the parking lot. I'll be traveling in Spain this summer on the school's funds. You do sculpture and painting, is that right? I guess I just make. I've never really considered myself a sculptor, printmaker, painter, but I do whatever is needed at the moment. Are you happy? I am happy. I'm very blessed. Would you say that you will be true to your school from now on? I think as long as I am making art, I'm being true to it. protection program though. Veronica, these are extraordinarily Thank good. You. Thank they, you. They are just beautiful. They're very small. I would be better off uh, Actually, blindfolding myself and making paintings with a paintbrush on my foot in a dark room. If they were large, it would, uh, I don't know how to drive, but I, I like cars. I'm going to maybe learn how to drive this summer, maybe. This is a Camaro diving into the ocean. <laughs> my name is James Mueller. I make found object sculptures. They are reference sound in some way or another. Who are your influences? John Cage. Kurt Schwitter somewhat. Oh, all da da. How do you generate the sound? Magnetic tape. Do you compose the music? Or? Yes, I did. How do you do that? I just play it. What's I don't the write it. Uh, it's on a piano. I'm also in a band. Oh. It's called uh, Circadian Rhythms. It's like 1950s stuff, it seems. Yes. What is the intent of these pieces? bring back good memories for people that remember them and to let people know that things like this exist. Anna Tukalo. I was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, yes. Oh, really? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, actually, that top one right there is a theater in St. Petersburg. Most of them are done from imagination. I do use some references, but not many. So they almost look like watercolors. Are they oil or? No. Acrylic on mylar, but it, it, it's a similar technique. I'm happy to be ready for the world out there. I just graduated, so I'm really happy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Aiden Rumack, the fluorescence flitter. What gave you the idea to do that? I was originally thinking about creating like a fluorescent box. If I put an object in it, uh, how it simultaneously illuminate and blind eat the viewer. So. And you think it's the artist's role to blind the viewer? Uh, no, but I was thinking a lot about male and female space in art and how like and the male space is like this an aggressive space and the female space is like this like welcoming space and I was thinking about how I wanted to have an object that was the female that you like want to go to and see and then have like an aggressor which is the light and also the illumination which is the female. And the That's actually pretty philosophical. Yeah. You are the father of, of EJ. Is he always hitting you up for money being no, an art student? He's, he's got a quiet style. It's a call, then I talk to him, how is he doing, and then just as we're saying goodbye, oh, and by the way, Dad, I need to pay Aiden $550 <laughs> in like 30 seconds, so he's going to kill me. Aiden's going to smack him in the head with a book of Nietzsche or something, and he, so you better pay up. Are you guys art students? Um, yes. When I went to the academy and the students were not as glamorous as you guys. What? <laughs> do you mind being in my movie? No, not it's at about, all. Do you guys have cards? Like, no, uh, no. Do you have email addresses? Yes. 2010 was another great student show and my film just scratches the surface. The academy can't be beat for arts education. But if they want a little advice from me, they might want to institute a class in spelling. Why do I say this? Because to my great disappointment, I found that neither of these women could correctly spell their email addresses. <laughs>